Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of this marvellous YouTube channel which is doing really well. Thank you for everybody who's liking and subscribing. We're, we're getting there, we'll be on 300 any no time now, that'll be good won't it? Anyway, <laughs> this, is a, this, this is a different episode today because today is all about that bass. No trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to a very good friend of mine, Mr. PJ Phillips. Now, PJ is one of the hardest working bass players in his category. And he's definitely the best in his price range, aren't you, I've PJ? been told, yeah, I've been told. <laughs> I am the best bass player in my price range. <laughs> <laughs> we are on location today. We are at PJ's place and we have got lots and lots of basses to show you because I've had some emails from people saying, what about the, uh, the Thick String Brigade? So we're going to go through PJ's collection. Fantastic. There's quite a lot of basses, so this could end up being a long video. So uh, stick with us and I think we're going to start over there. So let's start with the collection. PJ, what's the well, first one? Unfortunately, I had a couple of bases stolen um, years ago and I didn't get them back and uh, it's a long story. This is my oldest possession. I've had this since 1988. Um, when I was on tour with Nina Hagen, a German punk, massive, massive band. It's my first big uh, thing I ever did, 50,000 people playing at the Reichstag in Berlin. Michael Jackson the next day, um, Pink Floyd the day after that doing The Wall. It's an amazing thing. And it's my first ever big gig, and it was, you know, I was it's terrifying. Just a small yeah, thing, yeah. then, yeah. Terrifying. Yeah. And I went out, and there's cameras there. You know, it's just, it was just, I've been playing pubs before that. Um, anyway, I met this guy called Woody Wong from Warwick, who were a fairly new company then. Um, he let me play one of these, and I ended up getting one of these when I got back to England um, via the base centre, Barry Morehouse at the base centre, got it for me. Um, on a deal, on an artist deal, and I've used it ever since. It's amazing. Um, I love this bass. It's, I don't know what I'd do if somebody stole it. It did get stolen once. Um, I got it back. Um, this and the Dolphin both got stolen. Got it back with the help of Bass Guitar Magazine wow. back in the 90s. Another long story. We could be here a long time. Okay, this is going to be a long <laughs> video, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's in really good condition. Yes, yes, it's beautiful. I've always been more well loved and looked after. Fantastic. Do, do you have any more Warwick? Uh, yes. Funny question. <laughs> yes, we do. So you do have more? Yep. <laughs> this is my main beauty. This is uh, a 1995, I think this is. Um, I got it in 96 when I was on tour with Vanessa May and we were in Germany. And the guys from Warwick asked me if I'd like to try this. Um, of course you say no when someone asks you. Oh no, I said you have it delivered to me straight away. <laughs> um, so I had this, the, had this delivered to me and um, played it that night. I like, loved it so much and used it for the rest of the, you know, seven years after that. I was still with, I was with Vanessa May for another seven years. Carried on using this bass all the way through. Never gave it back to Warwick even though they asked for it. It hasn't even got a serial number on there. So yeah, this is uh, the Warwick Dolphin Pro 1. An absolute beast to record as well, amazing. The thing I find about Warwick's is they just the wear so well, yeah, yeah. don't they? The, the mean, balance is amazing. That's yeah. why it's got that funny shape, because it sits so lovely. Mm. Amazing. It's quite heavy as well. We'd better do another one then. All right. <laughs> Warwick number three. <laughs> this is a very rare FNA. F not Altus. Apparently there's some kind of law thing going on with um, Warwick and this company called Altus back in the day. And they stopped making these. But I've got one, and uh, as you can tell, it's got like a Music Man type pick up on it. It's so snappy, really great for funk. It's a light bass, um, and I, I've, I'll take this away with me if I'm going on a plane and I need a five string bass because it doesn't waste so much, and uh, I can put other stuff in the pockets and sneak it on the plane. This is a beautiful <laughs> thing, the Warwick FNA. Look at that, you see many beauty. Bass. Look at look at the ass on it. <laughs> <laughs> Another one? Yeah, this is the one I bought this a couple of years ago. I saw it on, uh, on eBay, believe it or not. And um, the guy said it, was, uh, it wasn't working. And because I knew the guys at Warwick and you know, I kind of thought, you know, and I know a guy up the road who can fix bases. I thought, oh, I'll take a punt on it. Um, I got it for about 250 quid, which was nothing for one of these. It's wow. a fortress, it's a beautiful German built fortress. An absolute growler, you know, tone wise. Got it back home. 
put some new strings on it. Thought I'll send, take that to Stuart Monks down the road. He lives on my road. This guy, amazing. Um, took the back off there. No battery in there. <laughs> so I put a battery in. Bang! It comes to life. That's <laughs> amazing because I've got this place for nothing, you know, really. Um, well, pretty much for nothing because I ended up working with the guy that I bought it off, who's a band leader. So I ended up playing in his soul band. I've done probably 10 or 15 gigs with him since this. So this is well paid for itself. <laughs> Result. <laughs> hey, Jeff, I did enough for Warwick's. Anything else? Fender. Japanese Fender. This is a Fender Jazz Special with the PJ. <laughs> pickup configuration there. It's a lovely thing. Uh, Duff McKagan uses one, uses one of these from uh, Guns N' Roses, obviously. It's a beautiful thing. I love it. It's light. Sounds exactly like you'd expect it to. A growly Fender. It's amazing. Some of those 80s ones are just fantastic. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got um, an 80s strap. Yeah. And it's just one of the... Yeah, yeah. I, to I, totally, I totally love this, man. It's just a... Uh, mm. No. So it's always there, it's always sitting in the in the other case. In the other when case. When I'm on a gig, yeah. Uh, you don't have any more fenders by any chance, do you? Uh, yeah, I do. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is an interesting thing. I got this, it's really cool. Got, so obviously the guys, it wasn't expensive, it's quite a cheap base. Um, it's had all this black hardware put on there. I think it looks amazing. It looks so great in the photos, I, I bought it. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's so lovely and it sounds amazing. They're, they're great, these little things, you know. It's, uh, yeah. Is it quite light? Yeah, yeah, it's a Fender Jaguar. Yes, it's, um, it's not the American one. It's uh, made in the Far East, but it's just really, really lovely. It's got great, great pickups in there. Seymour Duncan's in there. It sounds amazing. So it's got the jazz pickup in there as well? Just yeah, there's a jazz and a, oh, and a yeah, yeah. precision there. Lovely. And the jazz is hidden down there. Nice. Beautiful thing. Yeah. Now this bass. I've heard many yes. times, haven't I? Yes, I've used it with you, haven't I? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is my, uh, I had Ramwan strings on then. This is my 78 P bass, Fender P bass. Oh, man. Mm. Flat wound strings on this, it just sounds, you can't, you can't help but be funky with this thing. It's so, so lovely. You can't bite it too hard, otherwise you choke it a bit. So you have to play nice and light. It's, it's just so round, it's so, such a lovely sound to it. And uh, bargain, you know, it's great. I've got um, a 57 re reissue yeah. of P bass, yeah, yeah, and yeah. That, that's like half the weight of my. Yeah, I know, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's lovely. It's, it's, it's actually a very, very good sounding bass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's many a time I've so yeah. we've been on stage and I've just gone, oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> like Midnight, and I've been doing it as well, going to myself, <laughs> going, oh, yeah, this is me. Oh, I'm amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's all this, it's not yeah, me. It's the bass. <laughs> There's so many bases we decided to do uh, do these in pairs. You, you go first. Okay, this is a Karen Millen coloured, according to the missus. She knows the colours. Blue and orange flea base. Now, I bought this base because it said in the advert, um, Gumtree advert, I think it was, that it was a child's base. I mean, obviously, it's a child's coloured base, but I, I bought one thinking that my, possibly my daughter at some point might like a bass guitar. So I went around there, gave the guy like 70 quid for this. <laughs> and they, he said, it's in the cupboard. So I went to, go, to get it out of the cupboard and it's a full size one. Col coloured in and everything. It's, 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 a, it's a toy basically, but it sounds lovely. It's really good to play, very funky sounding. Um, it is what it is, you know, it's, it's a lovely, lovely bass. And I love the colour of it. I'm not, I'm not getting rid of this. So colors. you use it on jazz gigs, do you? Yeah, yeah, jazz, <laughs> heavy metal, everything, you know, quote. <laughs> Okay, so this bass that I'm holding here must be for, um, well, you can't really hide much with it. And you, you, <laughs> no. you, you really need to wear your underpants with this one, don't you? Or not. <laughs> or, or not, depending it's on that gig that I do. <laughs> don't tell me mum. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go, look at that. What, what, what's this? This is a, it's is a it? Taurus Plexi bass. Okay. Um, I don't really know that much about it. I think it was made in Poland. Okay. Um, again, another eBay purchase and um, it arrived and it's just again it sounds great it's really solidly set it sounds like a fender it's set a solid bass have you geeked it i have yeah yeah yeah, have yeah, yeah it's great it's, you can't go too mad on it yeah. um, because it's the action is a bit unyielding but it's uh <laughs> it's all right it's a, it's a good it's a good uh 
talking point, really. It needs, it um, it needs LEDs in it. Yeah, no. <laughs> or, <laughs> or a fish <laughs> swimming around in it. Yeah, yeah. Like oh, who did that? <laughs> I've did seen one somebody of those. do that? They had a fish in their guitar. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it'd definitely be a small fish. Yeah. <laughs> a tadpole, maybe. <laughs> Look at this. What can I say about this? Mr. Entwistle. Yeah. It's, uh, this isn't the Gibson, this is the Epiphone version of the Thunderbird. Um, I was playing in a band called Weapon UK and uh, I had a problem with the bass on one of the gigs that we were doing in Germany and the guy in the support band lent me one of these, it was all white, you know, but specially made. And um, it sat really well, it sounded lovely and uh, you know, I don't go looking for bases all the time, they find me, I think. Well, but my, my wife found this for me on, on uh, Gumtree. Your wife and sounds I'm... a little bit like mine. She's yeah, yeah, all yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah I mean, absolutely. Guys, yeah, yeah. if you're out there that have got wives that kind of, you know, you, you've, you've got to, to sneak it in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I only paid 50 quid for it, love, honest. <laughs> yeah, or the all red or something yeah, yeah, like that. It, it, we're, we're quite lucky. Yes, we are. Yeah, we're yeah. really lucky. In fact, in fact, my wife said to me not long back, she goes, you're missing a double neck. I went, you're right, I am. <laughs> so I'm looking. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Yep, well, Joy actually bought this for me. 90 quid, gave the nice. guy for it. It's, it's, it's literally brand new. I felt a bit bad taking it from him, but you know, that's you saying Still it. go so, over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Since I plugged it in, I knew why. It sounded yeah. great. Brilliant. Epiphone Thunderbird. Cool. Mm. Now this bass is, you, you, you see these in, um, like, you know, the vintage guitar magazines, yeah, you know, yeah. like the old 80s guitarist yeah, 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 yeah. and things like that. Yeah. But I've never actually yeah. seen one in real life. This is um, a beautiful Ibanez artist base. Oh, wow, so, yeah. I haven't even noticed yeah. that. Like that. Yeah. It's just a killer. Sounds like an old Gibson. Really, really growly. It's lovely. Um, from, it's a 1997, 1977 model, sorry. And um, I love it. You know, um, I, I've been doing some work for Yamaha, and we, we've got a, a couple of events coming up uh, with PMT. I'll tell you more about that later. But uh, <laughs> they are finding it difficult to get some of the old guitars. Yeah. yeah. Even Yamaha are finding it difficult. I mean, you both phone, you phone um, Ibanism and say, Look, where I've got, I bet you haven't got one of these. Uh -huh. Ding! Yeah! <laughs> you can retire, that's you. I just, just have an idea. <laughs> yeah, it's a lovely thing. It's got a very special serial number as well, it's very cool. Yeah, we're, we're, we're trying to look cool and not wear glasses, but we can't actually see anything. So. Is it on? <laughs> I don't know. Ivan, there's artists. Another one? Yes! Uh, this is um, an Aria, just another, again, another late night. <laughs> eBay purchase. Don't do it, kids. But it's a lovely, lovely thing. I got it extremely cheaply. Um, went and collected it from the guy. It's really that sounds great. I've actually got this strung. Uh, B to B E A D. Oh. These four strings on here, and it just sounds lovely. It's a great sounding wow. thing. Huge, massive output pickups. Little, little kind of red monster. It's lovely. There's actually quite a lot of little gems out there. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Aria, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you can pick them up. You do, yeah, yeah. You know, if you're old like me and you recognise the names, people go, oh, it's not a fender, so it's like, I'm not going to buy it. But, mm. yeah. Or you just end up with a room full of old bases. <laughs> <laughs> Many years ago, uh, I used to live in a place called Up North. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and. Uh, is that where we're going tomorrow? That's where we're going tomorrow. Oh, right. North, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a place called Spectre Sound. Yeah. Uh, it used to be called JSG many years ago, but um, yeah, in Bingley, in yeah, West yeah. Yorkshire. And they started selling Spectre bases. Yeah. And nobody really knew much about them. Yeah. Um, but you've got one. Yeah, I got this one here. Um, Spectre. Um, I don't know if I'm going to say too much about this, but Spectre bases have been copied by a few big companies. You might have seen some of the bases earlier, mm -hmm. how very similar they are to these guys who, who originally designed all this stuff. You know? um, I got this again on eBay. Um, it's sort of hospice was selling this and said it had a slight crack in the back of the neck there, which mm -hmm. I fixed. And uh, you can see where, the, where it was, but it doesn't really affect anything. It's, it's super solid again. Um, 
It's one of their budget bases. I think I paid 25 quid for this. What? 25 quid? It's got quid? a drop D tuner on it. That's so 80 quid. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're like three or 400 pounds, I think, these bases are. Is it are. active? Um, no, it's not. Uh, okay. But it's, it's really, it's got, you know, it's really loud, that pickup. It's great. Yeah. And it's, again, it, like, a little growly thing to take, you know, if you want to, you know, you're worried about your gear or you can take these bases. I've got a couple that I just take on flights and if they get them smashed, then it doesn't really concern me. Another 25 quid. Not like the next two that are coming up. They ain't going anywhere. Yeah, if, uh, if there are any bass players out there that know anything about bases and like collectible things, go get your tissues now. Okay, have you got your tissues? Are you sitting comfortably? <laughs> Look what we've got here. Wow. This is Wall Mark 1. W2990. You guys know what this is. It's an absolute beast. Absolute beast. Doesn't leave the house. I do this in my sessions on it in the house. I don't take it anywhere. Because I'm, you know, I'm even nervous talking about it. I don't want to lose these. Um, and that one as well. I've been playing that one a lot recently uh, live before I got the music man. And, um, Somebody offered me quite a lot of money for it, so I started to think maybe I shouldn't be taken out of the house. Mm. Uh, so yes, this is uh, the fretted Mark One serial number on this is JG0017. So it's oh, number oh, oh. 17. It's a beautiful thing. It's just you know what they sound like. I mean, it's just got so much everything on it. I'm from, holding this now. Which I will now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that that thing is just an absolute <laughs> monster. It's got the the, the, the frequency sweep on it is amazing. You can put, you know, as you know, you can pull. You can you've got extra like bite buttons coming on. Mm. You can adjust how much bite you want inside with the little turning the little um, dial inside as well. You, you can do anything with these bases. They're amazing. I love the Mark One shape. That's my thing. I just love the shape of it. That shape and this shape. There's um, one that had a, a longer horn. Yeah, that'll be the Mark II or Mark III. Yeah, they're yeah. slightly bigger, they're bigger around the... Mm. Bigger, not, a bit more of an arse going on. <laughs> haven't we all? Yeah. Haven't we <laughs> Do you know, um, yeah. it's a funny thing because I always said I would never have a guitar that I wouldn't take out. Yeah. You know, I'd never have a guitar that I couldn't gig. And yeah, 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 yeah. But do you know what? You, I'm actually, I feel that way about one of my guitars mm -hmm. that I'm yeah, actually yeah. thinking of retiring it. But yeah. I'm still going to use it in the studio. Yeah, that, that's exactly um, what these are for. I record yeah. from here as well, so. Yeah, as long as you, you know, yeah. they need to be played. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Just be played. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I know what you mean. You, yeah. Sometimes you just don't want to take them on the road. Yeah. And... Well, it's just the thing about you, you, not so much on the road, like you're on a gig and then, then it's a break or something or you something going on and it's, it's just sitting there on the stand. You know, it could just be knocked over. It would just be. You know, I'd be in prison. Uh, I caught the person who did it and knocked it over. But it's, uh, like, it's like Brian May's yeah, guitar, yeah. isn't it? I mean, there's somebody watching that thing 24 hours a day when he's out. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He, you know, he, yeah. He, I mean, well, he'd be lost without that. Yeah, you yeah. Know, things like this you cannot get again. No, that's right, yeah. And I've been offered quite many, many thousands of pounds for this one. Um, and I've said no, but it's, you know, one day my daughter's going to need uh, school fees paid or it will come in useful, the money for that, at some point. Mm. She must um, be going to a good school. She will be. She's only 12. <laughs> <laughs> I might even dumb her down so I don't have to pay for school to kick the bass. I don't have to do it. <laughs> I'll become a bass player. Yes. Yeah, yeah. there's a blue one back there that would be a... That's right. She should, should be growing into that soon, yeah. <laughs> My daughter, bless her, sings... I'm, obviously, I'm going to say she's a great singer. She's 12 years old. She plays the piano. Um, she's not a bass player. She might be one day. I don't know, but... If she can sing and play piano, I think cause, uh, she might get some more work. <laughs> <laughs> and plays bass at the same time. And plays bass at the same time, of course, with a feet. <laughs> this wow. has got some serious history, this thing. Not really. No. I've had it for a few <laughs> years. Um, I've spoken about my daughter already. Her name is Josephina. She's now 12. When she was a tiny baby, um, this was in a stand in our house at the time. And uh, she went over to it, so sitting in the stand like this, and I saw her, she went <coughs> pulling the strings, and I was going, she's going to be a bait, Wait, straight, it's gone over, isn't it? <laughs> smashed, the, smashed it all the way around there, all the way around oh, there. No. Completely off, it's, the neck had come off the bass. Um, Chris Ward at the bass centre fixed it, 
I can't believe it. And I've got this space. It's, it's still got the massive crack in it. And so I can't really say it to anybody, but... I'll be working on this chin, hang on. I'll get it one day, kids, and I'll put it on YouTube. Is that original? <laughs> That's an original. Did you make that up? Yeah, I just made it up just then. Yeah, wow. yeah. Wow. <laughs> Was that more than eight seconds? Yeah. We're, That's why I get paid a big bucks, kids. We, we got we got paid royalties now. <laughs> <laughs> now, last 2016, um, about yeah, I played at the. Norway Jazz Festival with uh, John Regan, who's a jazz piano player, and uh, I had my um, music man with me, and I had an absolute ball ache on the plane, Norwegian Air. And, uh, <laughs> they, you know, it, it's a long story. Anyway, I, eventually I managed to keep the, the bass with me. There was loads of room on the flight; it was half empty. They were just being pains, you know, as they can be. And um, so I got back home and I thought, Do you know what? I've got another gig coming up with John. I'm going to be flying on Norway again in September. This is August. Uh, I'll order one of these from GAC, which I did. So I ordered one of these. This will be fine. A couple of hundred quid. Easy. It's got the D tuner on it. Lovely. It's great sound and everything. It arrived this March. <laughs> like nine months later, they went, oh, your bass is arrived. Like, thanks very much, guys. So I've got it. And, uh, and I'm not doing gigs with John now, so, you know, he's in the States, so I've got this bass and uh, it's it's my spare, I just bring it with me now, as I always have it, you know, with me as a spare bass. It sounds great, it's a lovely little thing, um, it's, you know, we'll go on a plane at some point, So when you, by crook. When you did the last one, did you have trouble with them again? Uh, no, I didn't, no, that, that time, that time I, I bought a seat for it. Oh, and oh, uh, okay. oh you I'll, can, tell, you, I'll tell you this story. I bought the seat for it, right? So I'm sitting in the aisle at the window. So I put the window and the middle seat. There's a big, no offence to anybody who's overweight, massive, massive geezer <laughs> sitting in the aisle, right? So I've got the base in the middle, like this. I'm, don't, I'm not near him because he's like taking up a seat and a half. The guys come over. You can't have that there. I said, I bought a ticket for it. It's fine. He went, no, no, no. You have to sit in the middle, and it has to be, the base has to be by the window for health and safety reasons, in case you need to get out of the plane. And I just looked at the guy at the end of, at the end there, didn't say anything, and the, and the steward looked at me and he went, you're right, just leave it where it is. I couldn't have got past this bloke in a million years, he's huge. <laughs> yeah, I get So that. Norwegian, are, uh, are cool. you're cool now, thank you. <laughs> Cool. I'm a big Music Man fan. And so am I, now. Never had one of these before. Um, it was my birthday. It is my birthday every year, but in, in July <laughs> last year. And um, again, I was just looking, I've just got this thing, you know. Yeah, there's a bass porn, that's my thing, right? I was looking on the eBay again, saw this come up, and I've never seen one with the coloured headstock like that, you know, and it's got the head, got the D tuner on there as well. It's hip shot, isn't it? Hip shot D tuner, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and I kind of recognised the name. I was thinking, I know a guy called Zane. Couldn't be the same guy, surely. Lives in Harlow. Can't be the same guy, surely. Anyway, I end up getting in touch with this guy. And it is the same guy. He's a friend of mine that I've given work to before. He's given me work back. You know, we're kind of bass players. He's a brilliant, brilliant bass player and guitar player, classical guitar player. Um, Zane Martin, his name is, went round to his house, parrot on the shoulder, I'm not lying, <laughs> and he gave, uh, you know, he gave me this bass for £800, which I think was a bargain with the case and everything like that. It's a be absolutely beautiful thing, mm. and uh, I was worried about my, I've got some wall bases, a couple of wall bases, and I was worried about them just, you know, just being at a gig and, you know, they're super, super rare, you know, these things. Uh, so I got this and I thought this might just do the trick and do you know what, it bloody does, it's amazing, it sounds awesome with a pick, absolute killer and it bites like you wouldn't believe, it's a great all round, every gig, you can do any, any gig on this. Even jazz? Even jazz. With a pick? Not with a pick, no. You can leave your pick there, I, know <laughs> I, have, I have a thumb pick and I, so I can play and then play, and so I can play with a pick, 
in the courses and playing the verses with my fingers, you know. Fuck it. Easy. Wow. Yeah. And so spin the pick round so you can a bit of thumb as well, so it's all been built all in one go. And uh, I so never knew that about you. Oh, I'll show you how to do it. Later. I never knew you could spin your pick. After a couple of points. Let's do that. <laughs> so, yes, this is my um, go to bass now. Absolute number one music man, Stingray. Thank you, Zane, mate. And I, I love it and I use it all the time. As you know, it's in every photo now. I love this thing. Hi. Jazz PJ here. Jazz. This isn't my hat, actually. This is the hat belongs on the base. I bought this hat for the base, a jazz hat for the base there. This is my Yamaha Killer uh, EUB. It's, a, it's quite old. I've had it for 10 years or something, maybe more. Um, pretty much when they first came out, got one of these. Um, it's lovely. Um, I wonder yeah. why you were dressed like Benny Hill. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise it belonged to the base. Ah! <laughs> Evening viewers! <laughs> the wife bought me this. It's absolutely brilliant. Never been out of the house. I can't, it won't fit in my car. I've got an uh, a X Type. It won't go in the car. So <laughs> it's, it's just a toy, really. But I, I play it. But I have got a pickup on. Lovely little thing. And it looks really cool as well. It looks quite a Christmas with Christmas decorations around it. <laughs> That's, yeah, the fairy lights are all over it. <laughs> Excellent. So, it's not just thick strings you own, is it, PJ? Well, no, I've got a couple of these now. Um, I have one student of mine who um, likes to go out and play, um, but he's kind of, we do this scene together, we'll, we'll, we'll go out and I, he's out of his comfort zone because he's never played live before. I, we'll go to a jam night, I'll take a guitar with me. So I've learnt some chords on the guitar and I sing and play guitar and um, it makes him feel a lot more at ease and it's a, it started off as a kind of hobby but now I'm, I'm really getting into it. I can't play lead to save my life. Tiny little strings, big fat bass player's fingers. Not going to happen. Uh, but I can play rhythm guitar, which is great. And this is not the only one I've got. Let, in fact, let's have a look. Can you pass me that one? Like this. So you, you can play this now. <laughs> <Don't mind>. <laughs> <laughs> see? See, I put my finger there. Yeah, I see. Oh. He's a jazzer, this guy. Yes! No, no, that's yeah. alright either, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you brought the string now, oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, this is nice. Yes, yes, I know, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So, so square. Squire, there's nothing wrong with squires. No, no, it's lovely, lovely. You know what? Lovely. I wish they'd have been squires when I was first learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So it's only there, your, your other one. He's got two six strings. Yes. Let's have a look at this. This is new, isn't it? It was my birthday last year when I got the uh, Music Man Sunday. This year. Look at this. Hogstrom HJ500. It is just all me. All it's me all over, and I can. And I, it's really comfortable to play. All I'm doing is this. You know, I'm not doing any of that bendy stuff. Um, so it's perfect, and I love it. I love the sound of it, and I play this every single day. I just, I, I wondered if you had like um, a wound third on there or something. I don't know. Just, no, just, it's just there's, yeah. You, the ones I've got, they're called Fenders something strings. Okay. I don't yeah. know much about strings. Try to do them because as a bass player, yeah. you don't do the bendy thing mm -hmm. on that guitar. Try one with a, a wound third. There's some oh. real nice heavy strings on there. Oh, okay. I will yeah. do that. Okay, yeah. thank you, man. It's great. That's a lovely guitar. Yes, it that is. That'll just be um, some age to that. I've no idea. I don't know. I bought it from a student who was literally in tears <laughs> giving it to me. He was going back to Italy. I'm sorry I bought it, man, but it's come to a good home and it'll be looked after. It'll be very well looked after, won't um, it? Yeah. 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 That's lovely. So there you go. A bass player with guitars as well. Fantastic. Well, hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed the, looking through PJ's collection. I've certainly enjoyed being here and playing them. These, you've got some really lovely guitars, man. You really Yes, are I know. I've been very, been very lucky. Yeah, so uh, there's also a video coming up in a few weeks um, all about something else that PJ does, which um, we're, we're not going to tell you about in this video, but um, keep watching, keep liking. 
keep subscribing I uh, really really do appreciate that um, thank you very much and uh, well from myself Phil and PJ pub down the pub <laughs>